I'm sitting here today in some Roman ruins, um, a great reminder of a lost civilization, um, a civilization which at its heyday uh, probably thought it was going to last forever uh, and clearly hasn't. Um, it's a reminder of the fragility of uh, modern life. Uh, wherever we're watching this in the world, uh, Africa, Asia, uh, Europe, the Americas, Australasia, uh, all our societies uh, have different cultures and uh, different histories on which they draw. Uh, but permanence is rarely found in uh, cultures and civilizations. Uh, for those of us who are Christians, we know that permanence is found in God's word uh, and in our faith in Jesus Christ, who's the same yesterday, today and forever. Uh, we also know that we follow the one who is eternal, this Jesus, and we obey the commands he gave. So today we're looking at the third phrase in this sort of mantra, which I think is important during these pandemic days. I've spoken about them several times during the course of this week. End the lockdown. Save lives. Love one another. Love one another. In John 15, in the verses about the vine and then through into the central section, verses 11, 12 and 13 and so on, Jesus makes this profound statement. This is the command I give you, love one another. Not, a, not an optional extra, not a request, but an instruction, a command, love one another. Uh, one of the great uh, lies of our secular uh, society is that if you disagree with someone, say you don't approve of their lifestyle choices, you can't love them. Uh, this is just nonsense, of course. Uh, my children did lots of things when they were younger that I didn't approve of in terms of their behaviour. I never stopped loving them. Um, so, of course, uh, we can love one another and should, even when we disagree. And frankly, this pandemic has caused and will cause significant disagreement as time goes by. It's inevitable. How can we not have disagreement when there are so many different views emerging around the world? Uh, let's face it, uh, already uh, there's concern about whether governments are making the right choices about these uh, pandemic days. Uh, already uh, High Court judges, uh, politicians of other kinds, members of parliament, uh, all these folk are making significant changes to their view. Epidemiologists, medics, scientists are all questioning whether the official line is the right one and people are getting frustrated. Frustrated with, are they getting the truth? What's happening about it? Are the government's advisers even taking their own advice? What's going on? And these differences create concern and tension. They create anger, resentment between individuals and people and governments, frustration, difficulty with the lockdown continuing, worry about family and friends intensifying, concerns about health growing by the day. These pressures lead to anger and anger with others and so love's going to be in short supply and so that's why today whatever else we think about the pandemic whatever we believe about the right course of action whatever we feel about the government's choices and the way they lead us love one another remains a command from jesus it's not an optional extra to christian faith love those you disagree with Love those whose views you don't share. Love those who make you angry. Love those who let you down. Love those who hurt you. This really is revolutionary stuff. Hardly reasonable, you'd think. That's true. It wasn't reasonable that Jesus expressed his love for us by dying for us. It's not reasonable uh, that God pours out his grace towards us even while we rebel against him and refuse his ways. So today... Uh, whatever people say, whatever you read, whatever you hear, however you interact with other human beings today, members of your own close family or a wider community as you're out shopping or exercising today, remember this command of Jesus in it all to love.